Last year, we began working on a project to push Unity to the next level, joining forces with Passion Pictures and NVIDIA, sharing their wealth of knowledge and experience, we immersed ourselves in the motion graphics industry. This meant that we were able to take techniques and workflows that are used to create Hollywood blockbusters and see how these could be applied to Unity. In turn, we wanted to see how Unity could be used to make a high quality, real-time rendered short and what challenges and optimizations this would require. Our team in Stockholm extended Unity, adding features and technology to help Passion Pictures artists create a short CG film. The content production at Passion took three months, and we then spent a further three months on optimization. The butterfly effect is constructed from multiple Unity scenes. Each scene has multiple shots by switching cameras. Like a real movie, we also animated many cameras in order to give Passion's artists the ability to pick from multiple camera angles in each shot. Like a video editing package, we built live scrubbing into the editor, so that we could scrub through animation and also preview without having to compile. To check full quality, we also added the ability to preview the scene camera in the game view, in order to see the final shot with all post-processing effects. To light the movie, we mixed real-time direct illumination and indirect light baked into light maps and probes. For quality and performance, we baked shadows separately from the light maps, giving us more control to combine baked and dynamic lighting. For the ambient light in the film, we used HDR image-based lighting, giving us realistic color from the skybox instead of a single ambient color and intensity. As the separate scenes of the movie were differently lit, we extended the light mapping tools in the editor allowing us to automatically compute light map resolution and bake multiple scenes in sequence. We also added a lighting render mode to the scene view in order to help the artists debug the lighting of their scene. The movie required a range of materials to be rendered, so we created a subset of shaders inspired by the Mental Ray architectural shader. It meant that we could use a standardized single shader throughout all environments, from buildings to cars and even particle effects. This gave us near offline rendering quality, proved to be intuitive for us and was already familiar to the CG artists we were collaborating with. We also extended our material inspector, separating shader properties into distinct areas that we could access quickly. Another feature we implemented was reflection probes. Similar to Unity's light probe workflow, we could set up baked or dynamic reflections which are passed directly to the shaders. For the character artists at Passion, we added a number of improvements to Unity. For smooth geometry, we used Catmull Clark Tessellation, an industry standard in film. To create extreme facial expressions like screaming and shouting, we used blend shapes to deform the face. Skin was another interesting challenge. We developed a subsurface scattering shader to replicate layers of human flesh and skin. This was done using three layers of texture space diffusion and two specular overlays. Its translucency meant that we could also reuse this shader later for plastic surfaces in the movie, such as the balloons and the kettle. Our friends at Nvidia gave us the character's hair and slippers. The variety of styles is defined by a set of guide hairs, which are then amplified by hardware tessellation on the GPU. This gives us the volume and flexibility you see in various scenes in the movie. Throughout the butterfly effect, our hero makes a mess of the city, smashing through windows, invading personal space, and generally wreaking havoc. For this, we used the standard rigid body physics and shuriken particle systems inside Unity today. For the grand finale canister explosion, we needed to create something more three-dimensional and more spectacular than particles. We visualize fireballs using animated spheres and create dynamic surfaces with ray marching and pyroclastic noise techniques. To really push our cinematic quality, we improved upon many of the post-processing effects already seen in Unity. This includes many hallmarks of real cameras, such as depth of field and bokeh, and many offline editing techniques such as lookup tables for grading, plus bloom and lens flare effects for that JJ Abrams feel. 
The Butterfly Effect project taught us a lot, and it took Unity to places it's never been before. We plan to take many of the improvements we've developed and roll them into the product throughout the 4x cycle and beyond. The first of these improvements is the DirectX 11 support, an improved post-processing effects that you'll see in Unity 4.0, and we're really excited to see the amazing things that you will do with them.